Hey, everybody. Hello. I'm Where really excited for tonight. Me too. Should we load this down a little bit? Yeah. So it's not like right in front of the camera? I, so you guys can't see what we're watching. We're watching... Um, I feel like the camera's like off. Yeah, like, it's a little askew. It's off. It's like way out over that way. Should we just switch it? Just a little? Is that better? That feels better. Yeah, that's better. Hey, Dragon Craze. Hey, Magic Wolf. Hello. I'm freaking... I just have to say. I'm like... <laughs> crazy impressed... With that. Yeah. And those. Yeah. Where's Batman, though? I didn't get a Batman one. He has a Batman one. Why didn't you get a Batman one for the Batman wall? I got a lot of Batman. <laughs> but I'm it's the saying, Batman wall. I'm not saying I'll never get a Batman, but... Dude, you gotta have a Batman and a Joker to go with your Batman Joker smoke art. We'll see. We'll see. Just say it. I wanted these guys. No, I'm not gonna lie. They're awesome. They look amazing. But it is the Batman wall. I know. And I had to take down my bat, big bat symbol to fit them. I noticed it was over there. Yeah. But I really don't have any other place for them. I'm running out of you room need, down you here. You need a bigger basement. A I bigger do. clan. A yep. cave. I'm gonna have to knock out the wall there and expand Yes, all that. Uh, you just, you just need. You, have you seen those shelves that they like? They hang from the ceiling. Uh huh. Yeah, you just need to get some of those. Yeah, that'll be, be crazy. Awesome. Also, speaking of Geralt. 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 I knew I was gonna say it wrong. It's a hard. I always G. say it wrong at the beginning, and just, then I just say think, it the rest just think, just think. Go, Geralt. <coughs> go, Geralt. I say it wrong, and then I, then I do it right. Yeah. Um, we just finished watching the intro to, yep, to the Witcher. Witcher 1. Because we're playing The Witcher 1 today in Witcher honor of... Um, our painting. Our painting. Compliments of Magic, Magic Wolf. Magic Wolf, 4218. Yeah. So, should we talk about... We should let more people get on first. Okay. Once we have a few more people Okay, so what, what news do we got? Is this overpowering us, this sound? No, I don't, think so. I don't think so at all. Okay. I'm watching it here. It's not. We're, okay. We're good. Go, girl. Go. <laughs> you better back yourself up before you. Anyway. Yeah. News. Okay. What news do we got? Um. I got. I mean. I'm trying to think. I don't really have anything. I don't think I have anything either. Honestly. Deadpool comes out. Yeah, Deadpool comes out on this Friday. week. I'm going with my wife for Valentine's Day. Because what better? There's nothing better, really. Yep. I should get a Deadpool one. That'd be snazzy. That'd be cool. I need a Deadpool action figure first before I do. You do need one. No. I was going to talk to him about doing the Titans of direct response so there's like there's five guys that yeah. I like idolize as copywriters that nice. I would love to have their paintings done that way cool you should do it like Dan Kennedy has this really big handlebar mustache that I think would look awesome in nice. the painting nice <coughs> yeah that Great. is kind of exciting we were yeah. just talking about that yeah we um, so let's talk about that for a little bit so I, basically what I was just telling Lance before we went live was they really screwed up the first turtle movie and now it seems like... We don't talk outside of being live. What are you talking about? We don't exist outside just, of being yeah, live. I magically get transported here as soon as the camera turns on. <laughs> We're not real people. Not real people at all. Um, I have no lives outside <laughs> of the camera. It's all alive. Um, so yeah, you know, I think they screwed up big time with the first Turtles movie. Um, Story-wise, design-wise. I mean, the Turtles... They're not ninjas. I mean... The ground cracks underneath their feet when they jump around and stuff. And they're, yeah. I mean, it's just weird. Weird. You know, they're ugly as all get out. Um, but it seems like with Turtles 2, they're bringing out all these fan favorite characters like Bebop and Rocksteady and Krang and Casey Jones. Casey Jones being played and they by are, Stephen Amell. Yeah, I which mean, is awesome. And not only that, awesome. the look of them is the good classic clean look of the 80s cartoon. Yeah. You know, which, which most people associate the Turtles with. Right. So why couldn't they? My, my, I think my biggest gripe with it is why couldn't they do that design with the turtles themselves? Yeah. So the turtles look like these horrendous monsters, and then everything else looks awesome. 
Yeah. You know, and yeah, you know, Crane does look really cool in his android body and stuff. It's even got like the visor glasses and stuff, which is cool. Um, but yeah, I you know I'll see it. I did get excited when I first saw Bebop and Rocksteady, and then I got excited when I saw Crane. Yeah. I just can't get excited about the turtles themselves, which is a bummer. I mean, because they're the awesome part of this. Yeah, that's what draws you to it. Yeah. So that's sad. So, but did we talk about the new turtle game that's coming out last week? I think we talked. We we mentioned it. We didn't talk about it. Yeah. So there's a new turtle game coming out. Mutants in Manhattan. Which that was the the Super Nintendo version was called. No, it was called the. Uh, it was the Manhattan Project, which was Ninja Turtles Three. Was it Mayhem in Manhattan? Mayhem. Mutant Mayhem. That Mutant was on Mayhem. PS2 era. That was PS2. PS2 era, GameCube, all those. Yeah, right. Mutant Mayhem. So, it looks good though. It's based on the I, the current IDW publishing uh, comic run, which is a great run. Yeah, it really goes. It walks a good line between the original comic turtles. You know, it's a little bit more gritty, but it also has a lot of the '80s style cartoon humor and look to it. Right. It's a really good mix of both of those, I think. That's I've, I've enjoyed it anyway. So. Yeah, I'm excited for that. Um, what else are you excited for? Seriously, I don't have anything. I'll, Until... I'll be excited next month, in April, or in April, not March. <clears throat> yeah, be excited in April for Dark Souls Three. Yeah, I'll be really excited. Um, for I am excited for the March conference. I swear, I always want to say it's E3. I don't think it is E3 though. It's not E3. That's in June. Is it Gamescom? Is that what we decided? I can't remember, but can someone fact check um, first? There's a lot of there's a lot of talk about Nintendo. I mean, they have to, they have to release the information about the NX. Yeah, they got to do the, something. There's no, they don't have a choice. They're going to. Yeah. Um, which I'm kind of excited a little bit about that. I'm, I'm excited, but I'm nervous in how it pertains to the new Zelda. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I do think that we're gonna see another Twilight Princess. It'll be released for the the Wii U and then it'll be remade and ported re- over. Ported over. So it'll be a launch title. I, I really think it will be. I wouldn't be surprised at this point. Um, yeah, I want to know more about Dishonored too. That was a really good breakout game I thought when it came out. Yes. It was the first Dishonored. Which I think we should do a playthrough of that one of these nights. That would be cool. It's a cool game. Um, I'm excited for any news about uh, Planescape Tides of Numeria. Which is supposed to release this year sometime, but I've been checking their page like incessantly every day, and uh, getting absolutely no news on it. But I am really excited for it. Cool. So I think it'll be sweet, and we will definitely be playing that game the day it comes out. Cool. Oh, um, uh, there is there is a PC port of Disgaea, the original Disgaea nice. coming, um, which I am so hoping that they let it work with. Uh, mods with the the steam workshop oh yeah so people can add crap i mean i think that would be the ultimate disgaea experience is to have mods along with disgaea cool because it's already kind of a modded game anyway yeah um to allow the the fan base to just do whatever the crap they wanted with it would be amazing i don't think that uh Ibonichi will do that though because i don't know i just get the feeling they they aren't going to do that but it would be so awesome if you could mod that game that would be sweet. Very cool. <coughs> and that comes out in March, I think. Uh, the PC port. And it's going to have achievements and everything in it. Um, so, I mean, that'll be cool because this will be the first time that this guy one has had achievements. But, yeah. I don't know. Very cool. I mean, I'm going to buy it. Oh, yeah. Because it's Duh. Disgaea. But... Um, I'm excited for March, actually. Because uh, the combat pack... Two comes out for Mortal Kombat with X. Predator uh, or with Alien, Alien. And Alien, Leatherface, Triborg, and Bo Raicho, and a new stage, the Pit, right? With included Pit fatality. Lovely, which is awesome. It'll be fun. Totally, and awesome. I think they're going to release a bunch of new skin packs and stuff for all the existing characters. Sweet. So it was kind of cool. They had like a cosplay. Costume pack for uh, Cassie Cage and Jackie Briggs. Oh, where yeah. They're basically in some of their own Scorpion costumes. Oh, awesome. Like the classic ninja style, which was kind of cool. It'll be fun. 
That's I, cool. I really did love that game, Mortal Kombat X. I mean, I usually like Mortal Kombat games. I've, I've been disappointed yet, so. Yeah. But it was a good game. Good game in 2015. Right on. I can't even think of any of like, the big games coming. What are the AAA titles that are coming out soon? <sighs> I don't even know. The only one I'm paying attention to, well, Far Cry Primal comes out this month. Which will be cool. I think that'll be cool. I think that's a cool idea. Um, and then Dark Souls 3 in April, which will be amazing. It'd be kind of cool to see a, uh, I don't think it'll be this year, but it'll be cool to see a, an announcement for a Bloodborne sequel. Yeah. Um, so I want to talk a little bit about the, we were talking about Diablo 3 yeah, the other day. Yeah. <coughs> I do think that we'll, we'll see an expansion. Before we see a sequel? Yeah, I don't, I don't think we're going to get Diablo 4 for a while. For quite a while, yeah. <clears throat> That's if, kind of blizzard. If we get anyways. Diablo like, 4. what, 10 years between? Yeah, I'm not, I don't know if we'll get a Diablo 4. Well, if they follow my ideas, we will. Well, yeah. Because that's an awesome idea. That is an awesome <laughs> idea. Um, oh, yeah, I'm a, yeah, Batman and Superman's coming out soon. Oh. I'm excited for it. We're gonna go see it, so yeah, I'm gonna go see it. I'm gonna. <laughs> I know go you're see excited it. for Civil War. I'll go to Civil War with you. You go to Batman and Superman with me. How's okay, that? I'm excited for Civil War. Does it come out this year? Yeah. Is it coming out in May? No, I think it comes out. Is it my birthday release this year? What's my birthday release this year? I don't know, it's usually a Marvel movie. It's always a Marvel. Is it X Men? Is it Apocalypse? It might be Apocalypse. I'm, I'm super. Now is, for is that Oscar game. Isaac's? Is he Apocalypse? Yes. Poe Dameron from uh, Force Awakens. Is it the same actor? No. No. Duh. I, 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 I can't I remember who's somewhere. playing. I can't remember who's playing Apocalypse. I'm excited that Olivia Munn's in it. That's what I was going to say. Have you seen her? her... Yeah, she looks awesome. She looks amazing. She looks like it's right crazy. Off the comic page. It's, it's awesome. crazy that they went with that costume because that was the cool crazy. part Dur during the but Super Bowl. So awesome. During the Super Bowl promo. You saw her. She like came flipping out. She had like the energy blade on one arm and the katana in the other hand. Yes, it was awesome looking. She looks amazing. And the and red Psylocke, sash and everything. She's one of my favorite X Men. Yeah, she's cool. Anyway, I mean, beyond I, I've loved Olivia Munn since freaking Attack of the Show. Dude, and I, I loved Lord. Attack of the Show. It was an awesome show. It was an amazing show. I didn't really care for Adam. I didn't like Adam Sessler. Sessler, Sessler? but th yeah. that was on a that was the uh, G Four. It was the same channel, but it wasn't Attack of the Show because yeah, Attack of was... the Show was Olivia Munn and. Oh, I can see his face. I can't think of his name right now. Neither can I. He's bl blonde hair. The blonde hair Kind of guy. tall, thin. And then the other show, it was the other chick with kind of reddish hair. And then oh, Adam yeah. Sessler. And that was like a game review show. And yeah. Attack of the Show was more of a nerd culture show. They talked about yeah, a lot of Yeah, I loved stuff. Attack of the Show. Yeah, that was a great show. She's super hot. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, um, Magic Wolf said, yes, it is the same guy. Oh, oh cool. Uh, are you Team Cap or Team Iron Man? I know who I think I I'm am. Team Iron Man. Are you really? Yep. Oh, I'm Team Cap all the way. All the way. I still need to watch Winter Soldier. Did you bring him? So, we're going to talk about that off the air. <laughs> 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 I have been struggling. Like, every night I try. I can get them to go, but they don't have any They don't have any sound. Which, what's the point? Yeah. So. Oh, they are making a sequel to uh, What We Do in the Shadows. Are they really? Yep, and it follows the, it's going to follow the werewolf. That's crazy. Clan. That show... Oh, I could not stop laughing at that show. One of my favorite yes. movies of the year. I It was a guilty... It was perfect. I think I got 40 minutes into that show before I said, okay, I think I I'm, cannot, I'm done dude, with... I could not I'm stop I'm done laughing. with this stupidity. The whole part, I can't handle it anymore. The, the whole part where they're <laughs> getting ready to go out for the night, but they can't see their reflections in the mirrors because they're vampires, so All, they're like drawing Dragon Crazy outfits. and Magical for With Me. Team Cap. <laughs> All the way. <laughs> no, I thought that was America. Awesome. <laughs> America. Uh, that scene where they're talking about him not pulling his weight. It was it's so like, you awesome. don't ever do the dishes. And I love when they get mad. They... <laughs> yeah. It's like, he's the young one, you know, the young hot one. He's cool. Oh my gosh. It's so funny. And then when they meet the werewolves, and it's Murray from Flight of the Concord, you know. Hey, we're werewolves, not swearwolves. <laughs> I love that line. That is just so funny and stupid. Yes, it was so stupid. I think I turned it off like 45 minutes in. Ugh, it's, is that what it's called? Seriously, it's is called that... Werewolves because that <laughs> werewolves. is crazy awesome. Werewolves. It's a good play on werewolves. It's awesome. That is... It's genius. I love that. Um, 
Jeez. Yeah, but uh, I don't know. I like werewolves. I like Iron Man for the same reasons I like Batman. You know, it's super intellect and ingenuity with awesome gadgets. That's my dog. <laughs> we hear scampering upstairs. So, rambunctious pug. I think Cap, though, I mean, Iron Man is kind of a rebel. I mean, he's very much, particularly the, the Marvel Universe yeah, version of yeah. Iron Man, is very much a go against authority. And I think I think that Cap is is loyal, but he's also his own thinker. Yeah. So he's not going to do... He's I not mean, just a I, yes man. Yeah, and I think Winter Soldier really, really showed that side of him. It was like, you know, because he very could, easily could have killed Winter yeah. Soldier. He was like, he's a bad guy. Um, but he was willing to to give Bucky a chance. And I think that's really what sets him apart from Iron Man, because mm-hmm. Iron Man is definitely a shoot first, ask questions later kind of guy. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think it'll be it'll be interesting. I, I think Chris Evans was doing oh, an yeah. amazing no, job. He, he's a great Although I did Captain read America. that uh, John Krasinski was the former, yep. was going yep. to I be remember Captain that. I remember America. that. And I remember thinking when they first announced <laughs> uh, Chris Evans that... It was weird because he played Johnny Storm yeah. in the Fantastic Four. Man, I was like, "That's weird." That know? is weird. But you know, I can't see him as anybody else. Yeah, though. you can't. Like, I barely remember him as. I mean, I do it think helps that we'll that see those, that the Captain America and Avengers movies are much better than Fantastic Four. Oh, by efforts, far, but you know, easily. Um, but Chris Evans is a good actor. I've always enjoyed him. Yeah. You know. Well, it's kind of like Ryan Reynolds. He's kind of yeah, like. Yeah. I like him in Lo- everything loved he's him. in. Loved him in Scott Pilgrim. Oh my gosh! One yes. of my favorite roles. So and Brandon awesome. Ruth as well. Yeah, Brandon, Brandon Ruth was an awesome actor too. too. But and he was just, a fantastic Let's just talk about Scott Pilgrim for a minute. Okay. Amazing movie. It's a cool I movie. love that movie. It's a cool movie. The game was awesome too. Did you ever play the, the game? The game was awesome. Such a cool so awesome. like throwback to the old arcade games. Yes. I love I love I mean there's just so many things where Scott was like, Hey, have you seen this girl? She looks like this. Oh yeah, that's Ramona Flowers. <laughs> it's like, come on. Yeah. And all I the, love and that all, show you know, so and all the much. video game references and stuff. Yeah. Um, that was Edgar Wright directed that, didn't he? And he also directed Shaun Ant-Man. of the Dead, Hot Fuzz. Ant Man. No, he was supposed to direct Ant Man. He didn't. Di- he didn't finish it. No. Oh, I thought he did. No, he was supposed. To, that's why I was initially interested in Ant Man. Unless I'm thinking of a different movie. He because I know he was going to direct one and then dropped out, and I thought I think it was Ant Man, but I'll have to look it up. Magic Wolf is way more excited about Batman versus Superman See, than and, any Marvel movie. And that's how I am too. Like I'm excited for Civil War. But nowhere near as excited as I am for a Batman movie. That's just because I prefer Batman over Marvel anyway. And you know that. Well, I mean, yeah, it's Batman. But how much... I don't know. Ultimately, it's a Superman movie. It's a Superman movie. Yeah, but no one likes Superman. Which is why it's like so confusing that they put Batman first. Shouldn't it be Superman versus Batman? Not Batman versus Superman. Well, all the comics are Batman versus Superman. It's never been Superman versus Batman. Yeah, but they focus on Batman. Maybe Bat- it's Batman versus Superman because that's how Batman sees it. He's the he's the one who sees that it's a war. I don't think Superman's starting the conflict really. Seriously, Dragon Crazy, you're excited for Suicide Squad? I can't. Br- I can't bring myself to be excited. I can't. I just no. I watched the trailers, even the amazing trailer. You know, props. The Bohemian props. Rhapsody one. The Bohemian yeah, Rhapsody great trailer, trailer. Great trailer. Was amazing. But awesome I'm still, trailer. I don't care about it. I'm not going to watch the movie. Oh. The only chance that movie has is if they really allow Harvey Quinn to be the f- focal point of the movie. But they're not because Joker's in it. Exactly. Yay. Yeah. It's done. Well, and Batman's in it. I mean, they, they kind of let that count. Yeah, out of that's bed. out of the bag. Batman's, Batman's in fights it. in it. So it's like, why? And I think that's one of the most annoying things about this the new DC cinematic universe that they're setting up is that if Batman if Ben Affleck's Batman is in Suicide Squad that means Jared Leto's Joker is going to be in future installments of the cinematic universe and I hate, Not that. Excited I about hate that. that um I will say this though DC's TV universe that they have going on right now leaps and bounds better than anything Marvel's doing yeah with the exception of Agent Carter Gosh, I love that show. Peggy Carter is amazing as a now, character. Are, what else does DC have? I know they've got Flash. They've got Arrow. They've got Flash, Arrow, and Gotham. Uh, and Gotham. Gotham blows. It's gotten Gotham. a lot. It's gotten blows. a lot better, bro. It's. Have you seen season two? I, I can't do it. I barely Where they actually have the, one. They actually have the Joker. Mm. 
I couldn't do it. It's good. It's season two is better. Uh, and then they have Supergirl. Oh yeah, Supergirl. I forgot about that. Yeah, I've read that. Th- you know, I've seen that theory that it's it might actually be Jason, a Jason Todd Joker, and it's not really the Joker. But I don't think they'll make it that complex. I don't either. You know, it's a movie made for it's general too, audiences, yeah, it's not too for much comic for the fans. general audience. Yeah, you too. have to have a lot of no to really get all those mm-hmm. insights, and I don't think they're willing to put in that work. I don't either. To do that, I don't think we'll ever see a Jason Todd Red Hood movie. Movie. No, it's too complicated. I mean, we don't need to. I mean, the Under the Red Hood animated movie that came out a few years ago was fantastic. Yeah. And then we've got the best Red Hood story, which is, as we all Arkham know, Night. Arkham Knight. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <sighs> yes, thank you. Edgar Wright was originally directing Ant-Man. But then he dropped out and someone else took over the home. I can't remember the reasoning. I can't remember who took it over. Uh, I, I never did end up seeing Ant-Man. Let's start playing. Okay, let's do this. Do, do, are we going to play? Do we want to <coughs> talk about... What do we want to do first? Do we have enough people on that we want to... Well, we just have the two. Okay. Um, so let's start playing. Okay, let's see if more people jump in. Yes. So we're going to... All right, you're going to keep... Up. Wait, i gotta, I got to switch things up. i gotta, I got to have the mouse for a sec. Leave mouse alone for a second. <laughs> okay, never I'm good. not touching it. <laughs> All right, you got it. We're good. Okay. <coughs> you can do what you want now. I can't. I can't see anything. You gotta go over it that way. Keep going over that way. Go. Now you're all the way over there. See? Now there, there you go. Load game, right? Yes. You didn't delete my save. No. Okay. Now your hand's all the way over here. Complicated, I know. This dual screen thing sucks. Does the mouse suck? Does the mouse suck? No. The Witcher's Laboratory. Which one are we on? Yeah, that one. Yeah. Do it. It's kind of low. So I gotta go down the way. Damn. Loading. Enhance. I love this. Yeah, that medallion. By scene. the way. All right, I gotta remember the controls now. Yes. Okay. <coughs> oh, so we left off. Is mouse based, right? Yeah. Okay, so we've um, just beaten the the salamander mages that broke in to try to steal the witcher potions. They did. They did steal them. They did. Um, Triss was wounded. Yes. So we saved her. And the dude died. Yeah, the kid that, the young witcher. Lor- Lauren or Lore. Yeah, something like that. All right, so. He was not important to the story. Hi, Vesemir. No! Leo. Leo. Leo died. It <laughs> was weird, right? Was awesome. That's how I'm going to talk from now on. Oh, yeah. That's some very modern looking equipment in the background. It is. I thought that too. <laughs> I know a little bit of trouble with the mouse. I don't know. It's like not. Not picking up the tracking well? Yeah. Alright. I could run the mouse over here and you could just run the keyboard. That would be weird. <laughs> that would be weird. <laughs> All right. Hey, QFrost84. I like the Teen Titans show. I love Teen Titans. Teen Titans Go? Yeah, Teen Titans Go. I love Go. Teen Titans Go. Dragon Craze is saying that Teen Titans Go was absolute shite. No way, dude. That show is hilarious. I love Teen Titans Go. In fact, sometimes I make my kids actually sit down and watch it when we're trying to pick a show. I'm like, no, we're done watching Teen Titans Peppa Pig. Go. Who wants to watch Peppa Pig when you can watch Teen Titans Go? I do actually like Peppa Pig. It's actually pretty funny sometimes. 
in a weird, in a dad, in a dad of way, sort you, of way. Yeah. Speaking of dads, did you hear about the dude? That... <sighs> okay, where is Lambert? Where am I supposed to be going? I have no idea. Okay. There he is. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Moonwalked over. Okay. Where can I get some alcohol? <coughs> Excuse me. Is that a thing that they everybody like it I'm just like, gonna start it looks talking like, about like a prayer. Whoops. It does kinda look like a prayer. What did you do? My mouse wandered down to the bottom of the screen. Where's the calcium again? Let go away. It should go away. I'll find you later. I will find you. I'm gonna take over control of the mouse for a sec. Okay. Wee. Lance doesn't not trust me any. with mouse duties. No, I was just going to try and make it go away, but it's not going to go away. What's going on here? Way to go, Cole. Just start walking around. Okay. It's not a big deal. Alright, so we got to go upstairs, right? Yes, this is The Witcher 1 that we're going to try and finish a playthrough of. You guys can see all of my ap open applications at the bottom. <laughs> So Kermoran's Cam really uh, dilapidated in this yeah. version. Well, even in The Witcher Three, it was pretty dilapidated too. But it was still—I mean, they kind of had, they rebuilt it. Was, it, it, looked, it definitely looked more lived in. Ha ha! We got to take him down. Him. Take that. Bam! You you showed him. But you got bandit. I love how the guy with the axe is just kind of hanging out. Oh, like, yeah. Ooh, finishing move. Finishing. And you totally contorted all of his arms, too. <sighs> this mouse is driving me nuts, dude. It's better than the last one I gave you. It is. I'm just... Part of it might be because I don't really like playing games with mice. Well, if you can find a version of this game on something else we can play on... <laughs> It's the only version of the game, Colt. Come on. Well, I'm still going to complain, Lance. Doing my best here, bro. It can't be helped. Oh, I'm getting hit. Star Wars The Old Republic. That's the MMO, right? Yeah. I wrote a, gu I wrote a guide for that game. I wasn't super impressed by it. By your guide or the game? Well, my guide was freaking awesome. <laughs> the game. I wasn't impressed by the game. Dude, See that? you mess with me, you'll die. <laughs> Blah. I love the ragdoll physics in this game. I can't, dude. Hello? That does stink. So my mom went over her internet data cap, which I didn't know was a thing. We've been getting that, too. I've been getting like emails about it saying we're going over our internet data cap with Cable 1. Yeah. I'm like, what the crap? I was like, I'm not on data plan. I'm not on a data plan either. Like, what the crap is that sauce? I'm going to pay extra to be able to download anything I want. Yeah. Bam, he totally just, he like, bam, totally, you're bleeding out of your back because you're not. He says talking to you instead of. You know, for them having taken care of all of the bandits, they there sure, sure are a lot of, of stragglers. Look, there's another one. You'll regret the day you were born. 
Are witchers born? Don't they just exist? Blood. That's from you, man. Force push. Oh yeah. I think it would be really cool if they remade The Witcher 1 and The Witcher 3 engine. Yeah, heck yeah, dude. Um, mainly because this is the only version of the game you can play. And it's a good story. It'd be worth it. It is really... I... I killed all the bandits. Okay, let me take over the mouse again. Because yeah, I'm going to see if I can get it to... Pop back down. To go down. Oh no. I broke it. Frieza. Yes. I have no idea why it's doing that. We're just going to go with that. All right, let's see here. You know, I really don't think that it has, that this game has that bad of graphics. I mean, yeah, his hair is really pixelated and he doesn't look as, as good as he does in 3. Yeah, but it's not terrible. I don't think it's terrible. It actually looks pretty decent. Dude, is the mouse just killing you? Yeah, like, look at this, I can't move What do you want? Anywhere. What do you want to do? Well, I'm trying to get to the quest to see if I can activate a waypoint or something. Okay. Because I have no idea where I'm supposed to be going. Okay, how do you open your quest log? I don't remember. Okay. When in doubt, push J! Potion for trace. So it's already active. Yes, show active quests only. Show on map. Well, part of the issue is you can't see your map over here. That's probably it. That's why. So, let me see if I can... Well, yeah, you can see the map. It's right up there in the green circle. Oh, yeah, it is. But there's no indication where I'm supposed to be going, right? No. Let's What's go that, that way. I'm just going to handle the mouse. You handle okay. the keyboard. I'll handle the mouse. Go straight. Oh, no, we've been straight. Go right. Right. Ground floor, no. I don't want to go that way. Let's go this way, then. Room. Oh, that means I'm going to have to pay attention to when I'm going to have to click, click the mouse for combat and stuff. Okay, let's go check out that crate over there. Do it. Do it. Snap. What's this? Unknown it's an potion. unknown potion. Ooh. I took it. Bam. Exit out of that sauce. All right. Anything else in this room we need? Do a quick sweep. Do a quick ocular pat down of the room. I got nothing, bro. Okay. Uh, this is a great brain exercise. It really is. Anything to our right? No. Okay. Let's head through that doorway at the end of the hall. I was like, for a second, I was like, was that right or was that left? <laughs> I don't remember. I don't know. On the window. I was like, the his right or my right? And then I was like, it's the same right. <laughs> Who's that? Oh, that's a target dummy. Is there anything in here? Oh, the chest. There's a chest. That's a or crate. A crate. <laughs> Go get it. Ooh, lots of stuff. There's some okay, white gold. Some white gold. Some unknown potion and a monstrum. Or a portrayal of witches. I'm just gonna take them all. Found the alcohol. Okay, go. Let's. Where are you want to go? Right there, those. That one's There's got something one in it. Ooh, daggers. Take them. Your inventory is full. What? Ta tricked it. Oh, no, it wouldn't let me. <laughs> Ooh, there's an axe. My axe. Sweet. Okay. Spin me around. 120 inch screen for your game room? That is crazy, Q, -so Q Frost. I said your name wrong. Q Frost. I'm just going to call you Frost. I want 120. Where do you, where do you want me to go? You want me to go yeah. over here? Into yeah. the evening hall? Sure. Sounds saucy. It does sound saucy. Hey, there's a big old chest right there. I bet there's something in it. There's some swallow and some calcium. Isn't that what he said yeah. we needed? 
think so. Oh, we got some Flint, yeah. some Unknown, and uh, another, another The Frightener. Ooh, this book discusses cool. Frighteners. Quest update. Bam, all done. Down the mineral. Okay, let's go back downstairs. Yes. Or no, was he downstairs? Yeah, he was downstairs okay, next to the, the fire. Right. Check out his freaking axe on his hip. It is awesome. It's weird to me. Just out jump down, it, bro. Just okay. jump down. Is, are we going to die? I can't jump. We can't jump. It's kind of tripping me out because at that angle, it looks like... I'm going to turn it back a little bit. A little more. Yeah, it kind of looks like the whole thing, like the sword on his back, kind of blends in with the wood yeah, of the Yeah, a little axe. bit. So it just looks like this long axe dangling from his back. Wait, this isn't the right room. Okay. Is it that one? No, the Can door you? The door said ground floor. Oh, yeah. It's back that way. Sorry, is I was... that one right there? I was listening to chat instead of... No, this is the evening hall. Okay, go to the other end of the room. Check those side doors. I just want everybody who's yeah, watching this to know this is not as easy as we were making this look. But that's just how Com good we are. Yeah, combat's going to be fun. <laughs> yeah, you got to get your timing down, man. <laughs> oh, snap. All right. So do we... Yeah, you can't run. You can't go off. There's invisible wall. Well, that's good that's to know. stupid. <laughs> That is if I can't follow my death, what's the point? What is the point? Where's he at? Uh, through there. To your left. Is that him? Yeah. Make me a potion, Lambert. Custom arcade cabinet. That's awesome as well. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. I'm so sorry, Cole. Now you tell me. You know what good is Lambert if all he ever does is tell you to go get shit? <laughs> Alright. Let's go speak to Vesemir. There he is. There's Vesemir. There's the old man. says O, oh, but it read ah. Dude, we're going into a boss fight? Are you saucing me? Oh, it's already dead. Oh, it's already dead. Okay. Okay. So we just gotta go outside, right? To the courtyard. Yeah, but we're totally gonna equip our... Our new weapons. Our new weapons. And armor. Where is it at? Where's the weapons and armor at? Go up, go up. See those cross swords? No, over. That's there. a map. Oh, okay. Oh, it's a compass. Studded armor. Witcher's shield. That's sauce. He didn't give us anything. Where is it? Maybe go over to this other side. I can't. Hmm. Check this satchel at the end. Is there anything? If I click it, it goes away. No, 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 no. What the item's actually in the satchel. Just go over and see what's there. All right, we got some sapphire, Sapphires. some swallow, chicken, goose fat. Sweet. High quality base for blade coatings. You know, you gotta have that. Unknown potions, monstrum, unknown potion, visioners, flint, frightener, white gold. Hmm. And we no, got some calcium and caldeum. It didn't auto-equip them, did it? No, I don't think so. Yeah, see, it's... Um, used we, to fight yeah, demons. Yeah, we don't have a... Have 
Hmm. What the heck? Oh well. Do we have like a stash somewhere that uh, puts things in? I don't think so, bro. Okay. Uh, All right. Where are we supposed to be going? Gotta go outside of the courtyard. All right. Where's that at? Right there. Hey, right, car um, courtyard door. Woo! This is fun. We should play all games like this, Colt. <laughs> we already had elbow combat. We did. That was a fun night. I was back with uh, Gamer Mexi. Was that Gamer Mexi? No, that, that was Magic Wolf. Magic Wolf was, was that us Magic that Wolf? Night. Yeah. That was our pre Mortal Kombat X. Did you see how session. smooth I navigated that, that maze of nice. softness? That was crazy. Alright, where's this frightener? Not in there. Go that way. Or no. Let's go over to the gate. Oh. It's destroyed. Look around. It's gotta be here somewhere. I just said go to the courtyard. I don't see anything. Do you want to go back up the yeah, stairs? Yeah, go up the stairs. Let's just double check. Is it like on the precipices or something? <laughs> I had to sneeze. Sorry. I had to stop navigating for a moment. That's something. Well, he said to sit down by a fire. He said once you have the Frightener's car, sit down the Frightener's claw, sit down by the fire to brew the potion. Oh. Not in there. Who... <laughs> But seriously, who built, this go, castle? Yeah, who built this castle? Nice fortress. With just walls, no, yeah, whatever. It's a trap. Dragon Craze remembers that night. That was a fun night. That was a fun night. We had some good memories in this year of a doing game ledger. Speaking of, in honor of our one year birthday, yep, and because we're awesome people, yep. You can't go in there. No. Nope. The sauce, bro. Go over that dynamic lighting. I'm over here. What the crap? Where are we supposed to go? Can we try this? The gate is destroyed. Thank you for the obvious. Go back up those stairs and go to the left now. Um, We actually have our site live. Up and... Hey, there's there a crap. There it is. There's the remains. It was kind of anticlimactic. I was telling them about the site and... Cool. Okay. Bam. Should find Vesemir. Meditate and prepare the potion. All right, let's go in. Okay. Take a left. Dual credit classes read 1984. What the sauce? I like 1984. So do I. I'm saying sauce a lot. I'm sorry. I will choose a different phrase. Um, that is a banned book, though, because it teaches free speech and free, free thinking. thinking. How dare they? How dare they teach something like that in schools these days? We're not getting into politics on this channel. No. Hey, look, it's Vesemir. Switch places with Lambert. Where's my stuff? Oh, I would totally love to see the um, Captain America one. Anyway, back to what I was saying. We are having a contest. Yep. Tell them the rules, Lance. I can't play and talk at the same time. I'm too intrigued by what Mesomir has to say. I'm just letting them think about the contest for a second. <laughs> We're gonna get you back just to that. Them in. We're gonna get back to it. Yeah, there was the school of the wolf, which this is. Yeah. The school of the cat and the school of the bear. Right. Yeah. That's like the three things you can turn into as a druid in WoW. Wow. Just saying, I don't coincidence. I think not. This whole thing's just taken from WoW. It's a retelling of World of Warcraft. You, you heard it here first, folks. Bam. The Witcher is not original at all. I know people say it's based on books that came out in the 80s, but that's a lie. It's based on World of Warcraft. The birth of all good stories. 
All right. Back to this contest. Let's put a put a hold on this for a second so I can okay. focus. Um, can you hand me the pen? Can you reach it? Yeah. Oops. Da, 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 da. Okay. This is so awesome. So this is a painting I commissioned by Magic Wolf to do. Is that supposed to be it? I don't care. It's fine. Can they still see us? Yeah, they can still see us. Uh, in case you can't tell, this is Geralt. This is our friend Geralt. Geralt. <laughs> because I can't say his damn name right. Um. So, in honor of our... Just a second. Let me, let me get rid of this so it's not... Okay. Uh, in yeah. honor of launching... Enlar enlarge our screen so they can see us a little better. Boop, back to us for a moment. We're going to switch views here. Bam! Look how awesome that is. You know you want this. I mean, who doesn't? I'll, I'll just show you the ones that I commissioned. Yes, so please you do. Get a... you, can't, you can't win the ones that Colt's going to show you, though. Yeah, these, these are my personal collection. And honestly, I'm having a really hard time giving up this one. glare on Link. Yeah, so we've got Link, Scorpion, and Leonardo. With the red mask. Yes, red mask, because Leonardo. OG. They all, they all had red masks. <coughs> so. He kind of looks like House. Not really. No, he looks like Geralt. He's bearded Geralt. He's more, this is more Witcher 3 Geralt. Geralt. He does kind of a little bit. It's but not a bad thing. He's a badass. So you know you want to win it. I honestly am having a very hard time giving you away. Might, I'm not you gonna might lie. have to commission another one. I am gonna have to commission another one for my office. Um, because everybody knows you have to have awesome heart in your office. Truth. But if you want to win it, you want to tell them what the way you, what they have to do, Colt. You tell. Them. So in order to win this awesome painting. That we will ship to you. For free. We'll cover shipping. We will cover shipping. We want you to write about a gaming experience that changed your life. Best essay wins. Yep. And this is, uh, and also what, what's, what's the additional part of that contest? There, it, this uh, so is the a two-pronged contest. Yes, so not only do you win the painting. The painting, which is awesome. This is obviously the best part of it. Your blog post will also be put on GameLedger.com. Yep. As will, a guest post. We will, we will publish your On your our post, site. Your essay. Which right now doesn't look like much, but it's going to be amazing in the very near future. So, to be in the running for this contest, we want, you know, if you're interested. And I, yeah, we're not going to put anything other than we want an essay. I, I, essay is not even the right word. We want you to write about a gaming experience that changed you. Yeah. Change the way you look at life. Change the way that you experience yeah. things. Any, what, whatever you want. What, what kind of, what, about what length are we looking for? About 300 words? I don't care. If you can tell me something amazing in 100 words, True. go for it. Okay. You want to take 1,000? Go for it. Yeah. I love, I'll read them all. Just tell us a gaming experience that meant something to you. That's what we're about here at Games Ledger. Heck yes. And our favorite one that we pick will be the winner. Be the winner of the... And we will ship this to you, and we will publish your musings on our website. On our website, and share them across our social channels. Yep, in honor of our... And if only one person one submits, then I guess they win. Yeah, <laughs> easy. <laughs> easy. Maybe like, you seriously. Could, maybe you should submit. You oh, I'm win. writing one. <laughs> I'm writing one. Not submitting it under a false name. <laughs> so that I can win. Because I want the painting. <laughs> so yeah. freaking awesome so those are the rules and we're excited to see what you guys come, come up with. with and then also if you are interested uh, Magic Wolf is taking commissions correct and yes. he would ha happily paint whatever you want whatever character you want in this style um, fifth, what's your price Magic Wolf let us know and we will put up 
your contact info on the website. Yes, we will. As well. As well. So just let us know what you want us to do with that. And But these things are awesome. Like I said, we've got this one that we had commissioned, and then we have three others up on the wall that look amazing. So. And I really hope that nobody does it so that I get to keep it. <laughs> But yeah, we're super excited about this. Super excited. This has been sitting down here for a little over a week. I don't I I couldn't wait to see it. That's been awesome. His eyes are just Yep, they pop. Dude. Mesmerizing. Awesome. So awesome. So any character you'd like for fifty dollar. Yep. Character or person? Can it be a living person? <laughs> well, welcome back to school, Q Frost. It's not an essay. Not an essay. Don't look at it as an essay. We just want to. Like we a, want it's to, blog, all we want. It's a blog post. Yeah, we want to hear from you. And don't. It's I, a guess I won't even say. Don't worry about your grammar. Don't worry about your writing style. We can yeah. help you clean that up. Exactly. We just want to hear from you guys about. We want to hear about your gaming experience. For sure. That's what we care about. That's Heck all yeah. that matters. And Colt and I will have a example piece from each of us. Yeah. Up by the end of the week. Yep. But don't. So you can you can kind of see what we're thinking. Yeah, but that's just what we're thinking. Like yeah. you don't have to copy our style. Definitely or anything. don't have to do anything just like that. Just write it however you want, whatever you're comfortable with. No porn. Magic Wolf won't do porn. Yeah. But what if I did like the founding business fathers of America, like Cornelius Vanderbilt, Andrew Carnegie, uh, Rockefeller, John D. Rockefeller, and J.P. Morgan? Would you be able to do those guys? It would be cool. That would be so epic for my office to have those four painted like that. Oh, man. That'd be cool. That would be sweet. And then on the other wall, I'd have the Titans of Direct Response, Dan Kennedy, <laughs> Gary Bazinga. If he, if he does that for you, Dragon Craze, we don't want to see it. <laughs> you keep <laughs> yeah, that hidden don't. away in your room. You hide that one. We don't want to see it. that one. You hide it in shame. Exactly go back to the game so yeah we'll provide links to magic wolf's contact info and everything for these commissions and he'll and you can see examples close-up examples of his other work that he's been doing which is awesome whoops oh your your mouse i'm gonna i got okay the mouse. we gotta build this we gotta make this potion so go over to the fire i think where is the fire behind us oh i woke up give my give me a cold pop it smell like somebody's barbecuing it's a fire. Okay. Left click on file. What am I doing? Left clicking on what? Yeah, left click on the vial. Where's the, the vial, vial at? See up the vial up there? This right one. There. Yeah. Left clicking. Okay, select like the formula to add ingredient. Fill that one out. Okay. <laughs> Which one do I want? Potion for truth. <coughs> okay. Okay. Add the exact number of ingredients required to fill the slots. What slots? There's that. There's that. There's a frighteners claw. Okay. So Wait, where's need, the alcohol? We need alcohol. So go down to your alchemy set. Where's that? Right there. You were just on it. Go over here. Oh, there's the base right there. It already has it. That's okay. Go over to the alchemy sack. Yeah, I got it. Okay. So what do we got? Nothing, man. Everything that's in there is in there. So what do we it's do? all in there. I'm going to click mix. I did it! Boom. <laughs> okay, so let's take it to Tris now. I did that automatically. I didn't have to do anything. No, you did it. Be proud. What am I, what am I doing? Just exit out of this, I guess, somehow. Can I do that? I have to meditate, bro. Oh, okay. Meditate. Till when? Till dusk? Sure. One hour, yes. Now what do I push? That. Did you tell him where to submit? There's stuff too. Um, Lance at GameLedger.com. There'll be a there'll be a thing up on our website. Yeah, we'll update it. Heck yeah. That would be awesome to do the Iron Chefs, Iron Chef America with <laughs> Masahiro Morimoto and Mario Batali and Bobby Flay. Ugh, stupid rock. 
That would be crazy. It's a sweet mural. That is a sweet mural. Of the Wild Hunt, no less. Yeah, it's awesome. Abraham Lincoln Magic Mike style. <laughs> That's something. Writing here, I, here I got it. I got it. I got the mouse. Thank We're you. good. Sorry. Are we on the wrong set of stairs? What the heck happened? We can't go up those stairs. Turn around. Did we miss a door? <laughs> what the heck's going on here? Where is Tress? Stairwell. Where She's is Tress? stairs. Somewhere. Okay, go that Can way. we see a bigger map? Okay. There's the laboratory entrance. There's the campfire. Kitchen. kitchen. Stairs to the upper floor. Let's do that door. No, no, no. This that door? door? Yeah. The kitchen? Yeah, go through the kitchen. We were in the wrong stairway. Okay, now go to your left. Left. I'm going to my left. Sorry. I'm going. Got it. We're good. There we go. Bye, Magic Wolf. See you, Magic Wolf. Mike Simon. Michael Forgione. Jeffrey Zakarin. There's another one. What's the girl's name? I don't know. There's that school. Should we talk to him? Stairs there to Triss's go. room. Is she down here? I think so. I guess. No, that's the other side of the stairs we couldn't get through. Okay. Oh, go up. Up. No. Up. Yeah. Going up. She naked. She gonna be naked. Hey, this is Geralt's room. This is the room which her three starts in. There she is. Yeah. Where is she? On the bed. That's the bed that Yennefer throws out the window in The Witcher 3 if you if you choose Triss. It's pretty awesome. Yes. She's pissed. Win favors with other characters by giving them... I have something for you. It's a potion. Which one you want to choose? Okay, sorry, hold on. And we should sit out, but I'm thinking we'll be back. Perhaps there, won't you sit longer with me? Uh, I suppose we have some time. Are we going to get a sexy scene? I, I don't know. Probably. <laughs> All I know is that I chose Triss in The Witcher 3, and I loved her in The Witcher 2. I don't like her look in The Witcher 1. <laughs> well, who does? It's weird. It is weird. But she was an awesome character. I liked her way better than Jennifer. It's not your fault. Yeah. Oh, that's one thing they've yet to master is romance in video games uh oh here we go cover your eyes dragon craze avert your gaze well it's not any worse than the vegan commercial right Ooh. okay this is the one that gives you the sex cards I forgot about this with the pussy cat yeah it's tasteful
tastefully vulgar. <laughs> hey, I like things vulgar. I should speak with Triss or Veramir. Triss is recovered. I wish I could remember why that was important to me. We gained a level because we slept with Triss. Sorry. Are you just ogling her? <laughs> yes. <laughs> she's, she just got healthy and she's already had sex and she's back to hard drinking, hard liquors. Hard drinking. Ask if she can restore your memory. Or did you already? You didn't examine him enough what while were you, you just were... doing? I think she's being coy. I do too. I think this is a good place to save. I think so. Right after the funeral. After the funeral. There's something very um, Celtic about yeah. burning a body. Oh yeah, that the funeral pyre. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it goes back to the, that Celtic Viking Gaelic tradition. Yeah. And I love that that's how they how Luke. Does Anakin, Honor Vader, yeah, 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 Anakin. I thought it was really cool. That's an interesting question, Dragon Craze. Do witchers believe in a god? Do they have a... You know, I don't... Mythology besides the Wild Hunt? So there's the Wild Hunt, and then there's also... There is a religious order, but it's never... It's not necessarily to a god from what I could infer. Yeah. Not, at least not in the sense of, you know, a god the father... In a Jesus Christ type savior character, but more of an idea of a higher order thing. So, like in in The Witcher Three, it's called the Church of the Flaming Rose. Yeah. But there's really no semblance of a deity type figure. Right. It's more of like a governing body almost. Right. And obviously, they're in charge of the witch hunts and everything like that. But they incite at the king's behest. Um. That'd be some. That's something I'd, I think I'll do a little bit of research into that. That's kind of. That's an interesting question. Even like in Skyrim or you know the Elder Scrolls. Yeah, they have the different gods like the you know Talos yeah. and. Yeah. And they have. They had a, a pantheon anyway. Yeah, I don't well, think. I don't, really, know... I don't think they. They definitely don't have a pantheon in this. No. I think it's more of a. It's a very primal. Well, it is kind thing. of. I mean, go. I mean, we talk about this a lot, but it is kind of like a. Old God type. Yeah, it's very <clears throat> tied to the Earth. It's like Earth spirits and, yeah. and things like that, you know? Yeah. And that's how, like what a lot of the monsters and stuff in this mythology is. It's this old, dark, primal, untamed, yeah. druid it. Well, and they're kind of, they're know? named that way, you know? Like, with the Frightener yeah. is, the, is a monster. Look at that rack. What are those dogs doing? Those are creepy eyes. Yeah. Oh, this is where they get attacked. Okay, this is Alvin. I remember this, yeah. This is the kid that... This is the kid. They take in. Yeah, I don't know what they what she would scream. I have no idea. <laughs> I'm confused. I'm not time. Whoa, they're myself. like... Fallout dogs. Yeah, they are. Hound of Baskervilles. Yeah. Neon green. Oh, 
of him totally outruns his mom. Yeah. And they're like, no, yeah, totally not gonna let she you She totally could have made it. <laughs> Did he... Those are quite the city guards, though, to just shut the gate on her and not even... Yep. Okay, and this is, uh... What's her name? She showed up in the expansion of the of Witcher 3. The Hearts of Stone expansion. Yeah. She's a medic. What's her name? Alright, this is a good safe spot, yeah? Yes. Should we kill off the monsters first? Well, seeing as they open the doors... Alright, I'll, I'll take over fighting here. Do it. Go for it. I mean, it would be better for you if you had your silver sword. I know. But apparently we didn't get it. What is the flames by the gate? What, what's going on with that? The flames by the gate? Yeah. I don't know. I'm kill us all. You're parrying a dog. I'm not trying to. You're doing it very successfully. Thank you. I often, when I'm when I'm confused, I often find myself scratching my stomach. Yeah. Well, at least it wasn't. What was that? Which this is all stuff they pay. They're still paying off on in Witcher Three. Oh, yeah. I mean, they carry the story so very well. Yeah, the Elder Blood, the Time of Ice, the Ice and, bl and Blood. You know, the Witcher Three was such a good payoff of a game. Yes. Let's just leave him laying there, writhing in agony. I think it automatically equipped his new sword and armor. Did it? His armor is different from what we had on at the beginning. Yeah, it is. It's Witcher gear now. It's not just because at first it was just the white undershirt. Yeah. Which one do you want to pick? The first one. Just do them in order. I think, you know, when this game came out, I think a lot of people... Well, I, I think a lot of people just didn't know about it. Yeah. You know, it was very underplayed. I mean, CG, CD Projekt Red isn't a massive game no. development studio. You know? Well, they are now. They are now. But yeah, when this came out, and, you know, Nobody Witcher 2 was mildly successful. Yeah. But, I mean, the good thing about them is all three of them are good quality games. Yeah, they are. And story, you know. They are really good storylines. You know, the mechanics, a little wonky in this game, the fighting and stuff, but once you get into the flow of it, it's actually kind of fun. Yeah. Um, and by The Witcher 3, it's fantastic. Yes. Shammy. That's her name. That's a nice dance. I heard you died. <laughs> oh, I guess we're not dancing now. <laughs> the snake bracelet on her arm. Well, it's 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 a representation that she's a medic. It's a right, yeah, a symbol. That symbol. It's kind of cool. Because she's got it on her belt and on her dress. Yeah.
You know, I'm not a school teacher. I don't care how you submit it. Whatever you want. It could be in video form, Dragon Craze. Do a video. Give us a video. That log. would be awesome. As long as there's explosions and awesome green screen effects, I'm okay with it. Yes, and you slaying a dragon yeah. with craze. <laughs> let let your craze slay a dragon. Bam. Okay. Are we saving? Yes. Save game. Until next week. All right. We are going to come back over here. Yeah, however you want to do it, Dragon Trace. We don't, we really don't mind. We just want to hear your thoughts. We want to read what you have to say, what your experiences are. Totally. <clears throat> yes. Any closing thoughts about what we did today? Um, we didn't really get into a lot of meat. We kind of struggled around a little bit with the controls. <laughs> yeah. But you know, one thing that I don't like about this game is it seems that everything is overly complex. Like the menu systems, the mixing, you know, the potions, the meditating. Maybe I'm just spoiled because I played a lot of The Witcher 3 and it was very streamlined. Yeah, it was really refined in that yeah. game. Yeah, and, you know, I got it. I'm trying to take that into account. This is an older game and PC game. PC games are usually menu heavy anyway. Yeah. Um, you know, we should play uh, Dwarf Fortress one day just to get you how see how menu heavy a <laughs> game can yeah. really be. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think... I think the main thing I like... As many as you want to do... Oh, Joe Evans is on. Joe Vans. Joe Vans. I always read it as Joe Evans. It's, it's Joe weird. Vans. It's Joe Vans. Joe Vans hasn't been on for a long time. Welcome, Joe Vans. We should show him the painting. We should. Hey, Joe Vans. You want to win this painting? You can win this painting. You can win this painting, Joe Vans. <laughs> Tell him how, Cole. You need to... While I do my best impression of Anna White. So, <laughs> that's what I was doing earlier. <laughs> so, to win this painting in celebration of our one-year anniversary at Game Ledger, um, we have asked applicants to write... Want to be contest winners. Yeah, want to be contest winners to write out an essay or some, some, some... I don't know what else to call it. Some type of... It's a blog post. Yeah, some type of blog post about... Dude, game. Jade Empire was awesome for us. That's all I had to say. It was. It was. Um, Did you have it on the Xbox? You played it on the Xbox? I don't have it. It came out on the Xbox, yeah. though. Did I you can, play it on the Xbox? Yeah. It was awesome. Dude, we gotta, we gotta get that game. Um, I have it for PC. Sweet, let's do it. Um, yeah, so we want you to write something about your a gaming experience. That you've had yes. that's important to you. Why, basically, why you're a gamer? Why you consider yourself a gamer? Yes. Why do you play games? Yep. And submit it to us. And if we pick yours as our favorite, you will win this awesome painting that Magic Wolf that we had commissioned by Magic Wolf. Yes. What's what is the street value of this painting, Gamer Lance? Um, dude, I'd pay five hundred for it. Easily, right? hands down. Like. These are still. Honestly, it was for the price, it was a still for what he's charging. charging it a was a still because I, worth I, much more. You know, five hundred is a big. That's a big number. I would pay two a hundred and fifty at least for it. I, I wouldn't even think about it. Yeah. At that price, like hands down, I would totally get that. Um, but yeah, so the winner, the winner we choose, you will we will publish your blog post on our website, and we'll ship the painting to you. So that's the contest. The retail cost of the painting is two thirty nine ninety nine. Plus shipping and handling. Yes, plus shipping and handling. <laughs> That's true. That's true. That's true. But you might have to come get it. <laughs> no, we'll make a special trip to Rupert. Yeah. We'll make, you know that, we'll make that drive. The last time I went to Rupert was like... 
I've been eight to, years ago. I've been to Rupert since I... I don't think I've been to Rupert since I stopped working for the newspaper. I used to go there every day and I hated it. Yeah. What's the point of going to... Oh, man. Well, don't worry. You got time, Dragon Crazy. We don't want you to rush. Oh, we don't take your time. You've got... You've got all month. Yeah, you've got a month. You have until February 29th to get us this thing. Yeah, so don't... I mean, obviously, don't procrastinate. I'm glad that you're on it. But don't stress yourself out over it. This is supposed to be a fun exercise. Yeah. Right? Exactly. I don't want you to stress out over it. Definitely not. So, and yeah, we're going to get our... We're going to get a few blog posts up on the website so people can kind of see what we're talking about and what yes. we mean by game, writing down your gaming experiences. It's going to be awesome. So, yeah. I'm the Frost. The Frost. Mr. That's a good answer. Mr. Who are Freeze. you, Q Frost? I'm, I'm the, the Frost. frost. <laughs> I'm the Frost that comes in at night. Strangles the life out of your flowers. So, um, you know, going back to our Witcher discussion, one thing that I really liked about The Witcher 3 is that it really threw you into what it was like to be a Witcher. Just had myself bring it to work. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Van says he can't hear us. We're not talking loud enough. Um, Is that better, Joe Vans? I hope so. I hope so. Speak like from my diaphragm. Yes. <clears throat> you know, but but I, I really do like that about The Witcher Three is that it really encompassed the whole idea of what it was like to be a Witcher and yeah, tons of monsters in it that you investigate, you read about, and it just had this. You know, I've said it before, but it's just such a primal, dark fantasy vibe that permeates the entire game. Well, and not only that, but I mean, it's building on two other games. I mean, that's like, okay, let's talk about Arkham Knight. There was a whole lot of callback there wasn't at any. all to the other two games. There was nothing. There wasn't any. Witcher 3, I mean, this that we just had with Alvin, and all this stuff going on here. You're still, I mean, that little prophecy, he's like, is it the time of the frost yeah, and, it, it, if, axe and the sword and axe and everything? Yeah. That is all coming through. Yeah, you see it come to fruition in, in the three, Witcher 3. Yeah. You see it play out. And it's well, and it's still, a, it's still a presence in The Witcher 2. Yes. I mean, it's still, the, that whole thing, is just, they carry it beautifully. Yeah. You know, and then you, you know, and with the Arkham Knight, I'm not mad that they wanted to tell a Red Hood Jason Todd story. I'm mad at how they did it. Yeah. They didn't lay any groundwork in the previous mm -hmm. games, and so it comes... I mean, it wasn't a surprise who he was, but the effort came completely out of left field. Yeah. You know, it would have been a better game if they would have just stuck with their Joker shtick that they did. Yeah, it would have been. With, with the psychological stuff going on. Yeah. It like, that would have been, been That would have been a crazy, crazy twist if Batman was the Arkham Knight. Yeah. Kind of a dual it, personality yeah, thing going dual on. dual personality going on because of what happened with the Joker. And I think that no, was made still, for a more interesting game, Yeah, honestly. there was still that question of what really happened with the Titan Venom and everything, and of like, okay, well, it completely bifurcated you know, his personality. And, and that's one thing I didn't that really, would have been crazy. And that's one thing I really never understood about the Arkham Knight's visual design, is why did he look so much like Batman? I mean, he, had, yeah. he even had the bat ears. Exactly. Like, why? why? I don't understand that. At, like, I don't understand that line yeah, of thinking. I didn't get it at all. I know they kind of wanted to make it the make him an anti-Batman type character. Yeah. But I don't... If, if the character, Jason Todd, is so adamantly angry and against Batman's methods and philosophies... Why look like him? Why design your armor to look like Batman? Yeah. It, I mean, that... Didn't make sense. Never really made sense to me. I completely agree. And I just never really, I never got it. I agree. And that's the nicest thing I have to say about that game, honestly. Yeah, me too. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, that was the problem with it. They didn't lay any groundwork to tell that story. Yeah. And so, you know, and then with the Witcher series, I mean, they do such a good job of laying it, you know, laying out these plot lines and then carry, seeing them through and, well, the And making you care. Yeah, definitely making you care. I mean, I mean we, didn't, we didn't really see it here. This, I mean, this is a, a very early attempt at what they do later on. Yeah. But even now with like, with Alvin, you know, one, his mom's dead. Uh, two, he's just been possessed by some sort of evil spirit. Yeah. And he's a kid. I mean, and obviously, he's a kid. He, it, it, it kicks into that paternal. Yeah, you want to mode. protect him, and the whole that time we're Geralt having that conversation. The entire series. Yeah. The whole time we're having that conversation with the chick, he's sitting there. Writing on the floor. Like, Go help the kid. Like, Come on. Quit talking to me. Let's figure out what's going on over here. Yeah. 
Um, and I think they, they do excel really well at making you care about unconsequential characters. You know? Yes. I mean, Alvin, does he come back? He doesn't. You don't see, he's not in the Witcher. Yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't come back. But we still care about that kid. Yeah. Q Frost knew from the first Oh, yeah. I mean, Jason Todd. We, we... There was no doubt I, in my I, mind. I didn't want to believe that it was Jason Todd, but I knew before the game dropped that it was yeah, Jason Todd. that it was. Like, that's the only person it could have been. Even yeah. though they said it wasn't, and that it was yeah. a new character, like... Well, either that or else it was going to be the Joker. Yeah, you knew. I mean, because that's what they've done in every game. Yeah, so... It was just a poorly executed game. It looked fantastic. Mechanically, it played well. I mean, the drone stuff was boring. Yeah. But... The combat, the stealth mode, I mean, it's the classic Arkham Yeah, Arkham City method, you know. They just it was just a bland yeah. effort of a game. I'd love to see I mean, two games and we've kind of talked about this before. Two games I would love to see get that kind of combat style would be a turtles game. Oh, absolutely. An open world turtles awesome. game would be fantastic. Um, but I think that a, a Green Arrow game would do really well so. in that I mean cuz the with the arrows and, and the stealth and everything, I think it would be really, yeah. really awesome to do a green arrow. You know, especially if they kind of focus more on the TV version of Arrow. Oh, yeah. That's going on, you know. I love that show. I mean, it's very... It, it's, it's kind of Batman light anyways. It is. You know, it's, it has well, shades... It, ha- main... it has some shades of Batman to it. Where you can't help but think of Batman while you're watching it. Which is a good thing, I think. <laughs> what? So... <laughs> I'm going through this phase with my youngest daughter, River, um, where she just wants to play in the toilet. Awesome. Yeah. Snap. I don't want to answer this. Well, we're going to wrap this up. Back. Um, so we have to make sure that we put the toilet seat down, like, like the lid. Actually put the lid down. My youngest son doesn't know how to, always forgets to flush the toilet. Well, I mean, I flush the toilet, but she gets in there and plays in the water. Oh, gotcha. So she gets water everywhere. <laughs> and my wife just texted me to say, you didn't shut the lid when you left. And I'm like, I'm pretty sure I did. She just opened it. She's smart like that. Yeah. My youngest just, he forgets to flush. And so, like, he'll use the toilet. And then, like, an hour later, I'll go into the bathroom and there's just nice little surprise waiting there yes like, okay let's flush that so, awesome well on that note we'll continue next week with more witcher one more witcher one and we're excited to see your entries and we're excited yes. to pick a winner but yeah we've I got am, a month we've got i a month. am really excited to pick a winner because i want this lance wants to pick himself i want winner. yeah i do want to pick myself as the winner because this is freaking amazing and I'm i like, think it belongs on my wall with the other ones honestly well, you can put it there until we, until we give it away. I could. But seriously, that is just. It's phenomenal. Killer. It's, it's phenomenal. phenomenal. And if anybody missed I it, I love the 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 blue. Yeah, the blue. Really. The blue and the yellow really make it pop, you know. Yes, and the, I love the. Yeah, um, but for anybody so who awesome. who may have missed, um, Magic Wolf, who is one of our subscribers followers. Uh, commi- does these on commission so whatever game character or TV character movie character whatever you want basically he'll do it do for it you, for, you f- for you know, $50 yes um, I've got three on my wall I've got a turtle scorpion and link from Legend of Zelda and they look fantastic they do look fantastic and I'm going to take I'm going to take some pictures and put them up on the website that looks sweet and our social media pages we had to take pictures of this one too and put yeah. it up as a contest so. Awesome. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. We will see you all next week. Have a good night.